Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. I thought we'd go over a few issues raised by various comments I've received. Today, is it liberating to believe in atheism? I'm probably going to get a lot of angry comments on this video because once again we're talking about atheism directly, and that means bringing up the actual definition of atheism. A sore spot for many people, apparently. Atheism is the belief that no god exists. Therefore, in order to be an atheist, you must do more than just doubt. Theists doubt. You must actually believe that claims that God exists are false. This issue came up while I was talking with a commenter who said that atheists are passionately against something, even though there's no real reward involved in it. I think that's certainly right. Many old-school atheists were torn up about choosing atheism for this reason. If God doesn't exist, then there's no real purpose to life and all of our sufferings are meaningless. So this whole idea of atheism being some incredible liberation or doorway to great happiness, this is very new. Traditionally, atheists didn't believe that. There are two points of importance here. First, that no matter what you accomplish in this life, in a few generations the march of time and or revisionist history will eradicate all physical trace of you. Second, that no matter who or what causes our pain and suffering, the pain itself is purposeless without a higher cause to give it meaning. Nothing that any atheist has ever proposed is sufficient to give pain its meaning. Atheism therefore deprives people of any hope for their ultimate future, since they don't have one. They'll die and be forgotten, and their suffering will have meant nothing unless God exists. You could say that belief in atheism represents actual liberation from theism, but theism also represents liberation from atheism in exactly the same way and to the same degree. The liberation of one thing is frequently the confining of another. Liberation for wolves is a restriction for sheep, and vice versa. Not all liberation is real liberation. Next, are beliefs different from claims? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.